How to use a light microscope. Firstly, it's important to know the different parts of your light microscope. Your light microscope might not be as cute as this one, but the parts are essentially the same. Light microscopes may have one or two eyepieces, which have a magnification of times 10. This is connected to the body tube, which bends light and allows us to see our sample. This part of the microscope is called the arm and is important when you're carrying your microscope. The revolving nose piece allows you to adjust which of the objective lenses you're using to view your sample. The place that you put your microscope slide with your sample on it is called the stage, which has stage clips to keep the microscope slide in place. Some light microscopes have stage adjustment dials to easily move the stage from side to side. We can see our sample because light passes through it. We can use the diaphragm of the microscope to adjust the amount of light we're using to view our sample, which is directly above our light source. The dials used to focus the microscope may be arranged together or separately. These are called the coarse and the fine focus, which I'll explain more about later on in this video. We also need a power source to power our light, so remember to plug in your light microscope. A common mistake when starting out is forgetting to turn the light on on the light microscope or not turning it on at the power point. Always, always, always carry the microscope with two hands. Use one hand to support the arm of the microscope and place the other hand underneath the microscope's base to support most of its weight. To focus your light microscope, set the microscope to view your sample using the lowest magnification objective lens. This is the shortest lens and is usually red. Then, use the coarse focus dial to bring the stage all the way up before you start focusing. Look into the eyepiece and use the coarse focus dial to focus on your sample. Then use the fine focus dial to focus in on finer details. If you want to increase the magnification, use the revolving nose piece to set the next more powerful objective lens in place. Only ever increase the magnification level by one objective lens at a time. Make sure you focus with that objective lens first before moving on to the next one. Otherwise focusing can become really difficult. Notice how the length of the objective lenses increases as they increase magnification? Increasing to a more powerful objective lens before focusing with the one before it properly can actually lead to breaking the slide or one of the objective lenses. If your microscope only has one eyepiece, looking into it for an extended period of time can cause some serious eye strain for some people. If you find you're one of those people, closing, or even better, covering one eye can really help, so you may want to try this. The objective lens with the lowest magnification power is the shortest lens, and is usually colour-coded red. It is often called the scanning lens, and has a magnification power of times 4. The next objective lens tends to be colour-coded yellow and magnifies objects by a factor of 10. The next most powerful objective lens is blue, which magnifies objects 40 times. And the most powerful objective lens is the longest and has a magnification power of 100. That being said, you need to remember that we're also viewing the sample through the eyepiece, which has a magnification power of 10. So to get the total magnification that we're viewing our sample at, we need to multiply the power of the objective lens by 10. So the lowest magnification power we view our sample at is 40 times the size of the actual sample. The next objective lens allows us to magnify what we're viewing by 100 times. The next objective lens has a magnification power of 400. And finally, the most powerful objective lens magnifies our sample 1000 fold. If at any given time you're not actively looking at your sample, consider turning the light on the microscope off. The light can get pretty hot, which also means you need to be careful putting the microscope away. You may need to give it some time to cool down first. When you are putting your microscope away, make sure you put on the dust cover. This protects the microscope and also makes it look like a little microscope ghost. Until next time, stay awesome!